what you need to pour all your time into now from this point on is learning Facebook ads. Okay. That's it. That's it. This whole backup, don't even worry about this no more. Like this part's done. This part's done. You got to just learn Facebook ads or you're again, or you're going to hire someone. So, uh, so as someone comes in as someone, yes, I want positive cash flow. Someone comes in, they opt in the actual, um, um, pixel goes on this page right here where button click automatically detect page view. So this URL right here, this is what we have to create a custom conversion around. So did we do that already or did anybody? I, I think you did. No, I think you did. I think you went in there and made a custom audience. Um, yeah. Custom lab. audience is one thing. Okay. And then a custom conversion is the other. No, so I, I, no, we did. Well. Yeah. We never did a custom conversion. Okay, so let I'm gonna set this part up for you right here. So yeah, so here's so so now let's make sure we're in the right account. This is the right account, right? Archer Management Group. Yep. Yep. Okay. So yep. this right here is the most important. You come over here and you create a custom conversion. Now, when you go run Facebook ads, that's what you're optimizing for. That's what you're telling Facebook. The first time when we ran it when we ran the ad, the first time that was for quote unquote video views. That was to get thousands of people to view it so we can then have some type of warm audience to work with. Now there's over 3,000 people that viewed that first one. Now that's some type of warm market to work with. So now when you go run Facebook ad number two, you're going to run it not under video views. You're going to run it under conversions and just retarget those people who watch video number one. And, okay. and now conversions, conversions, I'll, we'll, we'll set that up. Okay. But conversions is now built around this page. We want to tell Facebook, hey, we are looking for people to get to this page. Now the opt-in, that was one page. So let's click on learn more over here one more time. This is the opt-in page. This is where we're directing the traffic. So when we set up the ad, yeah, this is the link. This is the one right here. Let me um, delete that part. There's your link right there. ArcherManagement.info forward slash free download. So when we set up the ad, we're setting up the ad. When they click on learn more, they're coming here. But what we're telling Facebook on the back end is that we really want them to come here. We okay. really want them to come here because the only people that ever, 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 ever in the entire world could ever come here are people who fill out the form Correct. or people who opted in. Yep. So Facebook, they don't want to know your goal. They want to know your ultimate goal. Your goal is to get people here, but the ultimate goal is to get them to fill out the form. Correct. That's the ultimate goal. Ultimate. So the ultimate goal is to get people here. So Facebook, again, they want to know this page. They want to know, okay, what's this page? And so we take the URL and then we go create a custom conversion. Custom. And so right here, all I did, let me X this out. Again, I hit, I clicked those three lines. I clicked on custom conversions and that brought me to this part right here. I'm going to click this blue button. I'm going to click, this is going to open up. And then what I can do, all URL traffic right there. And all I'm going to do is paste in that link. And then down here, I'm going to name it. We're going to name this. Um, we're going to name this. Um, 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 what do we name it? Let's name it um, opt-ins. Let's name it leads. Let's name it um, um, free download. What, what do we name it? Uh, well, it, it, it's uh, probably uh, opt-in uh, free uh, first video opt-in free Free uh, opt-in, free no, no. free PDF. Yeah, free download. Um, let's go. Let's go free PDF download. Okay. So that is now the name. That's the name of this group. So all we're doing within all of Facebook, man, all it's about is is depend on what page people are landing on. Whether they're landing on the on the first page, which is the opt-in page, the landing page or whether they're landing on this page, which is the confirmation page. This is after they, they enter the information. Facebook, we want, we want our pixel to track it all. So for example, right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna set up a custom conversion around people who land here. I'm also going to set up a custom audience of people who land here. I'm also gonna set up a custom audience of people who land here. Because as we run Facebook ads and people click learn more and they come here, I want to be able to track that. The Facebook pixel is going, to, is, going to, is going to track it for sure, but I also want to segment it. I also want to put them in an actual audience, and, and we're going to name that audience, and that audience is going to be named people who landed on page but didn't opt in. Perfect. So then when I go run Facebook ad number two, Facebook ad number three, Facebook ad number four, I can then retarget that group. 
Those are all people who click learn more. They got to the landing page, but they never filled it out for whatever reason. Let's okay. categorize those freaking bozos and let's continue to get in front of them because they, they click, they got halfway. Right. So, yeah, exactly. so all these are groups. All these are what Facebook calls custom audiences, but the custom conversion is built around the confirmation page. It's built around the thank you page, which this is the thank you page. Now, after they schedule, that's a completely different conversion. So, so this is going to be opt-ins for the free download. That right there is what this is. So let's, let's do this. So this is going to be categorized under, um, we can go lead, we can go purchase, we can go and see. So look, the schedule, that's why the freaking Calendly, now you have it, but that's why the confirmation page after they schedule was so important. Because I need to be able to set that up through Facebook and let Facebook know, hey, people who landed on this confirmation page are people who actually scheduled. Now put all those people in a custom conversion, put all those people in a custom audience so I can exclude them from future ads. Correct. Right? Awesome. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, so you thank you. That's that. And then let's see what, what's the best one. Ad payment info, ad cart. This is going to be, um, we can just put this one under lead. Yeah, we could just put this one, we could just put this under, under lead for sure. And then value, we don't need value because there's no, there's no price. So we create that and then we click done and there goes our custom conversion. So now, again, this is super important when we actually set up the ad, um, the custom conversion. Let's also set up real quick um, a custom audience. Now we name this one free PDF downloads. Let's go to custom audiences and set up a custom audience as well. So when I go, so when I go and run that conversions ad based around people who landed on that page, that's what I'm telling Facebook. I'm telling Facebook, Hey, I'm looking for people to get to this page, but the custom audience is going to allow me to exclude them as well. Exclude them. I, I'm, I'm looking for similar people to get to this, th this confirmation page but I also have this custom audience Facebook of people who actually got there and I want to exclude them from this ad. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's this one right here. So if I open up this one, free PDF download leads, we click on edit that, that link should be the same link. So one, three, nine CX one, three, nine. This is CX one, three, nine. Perfect. So then that's already set up the custom audience is already set up. Okay. okay perfect. Right. So then All now, right. now we got the custom conversion. So what I want to do now is let's go back to conversions, custom conversions. And let's set up or let's see, let me see if the green light, if it's active yet. Okay. You see how it says no activity yet? Yeah. Okay. So now if I come over here to the page, I created around this link. If I come back to the page, this pixel right here is showing that um, that the button was clicked on the first page, right? It was clicked, and then people over here came to view. But what I just set up is a custom conversion. So it's saying button clicked, page view, micro data. It should say, once I refresh it, it should say um, lead as well. So let okay. me refresh this page. All right. And then also when I refresh it, this no activity, it should say active. Once okay. I ref once I refresh it, so let's see if this if it if it needs longer or if it if it's already reading it. Bam! Yep. Right there. Yep. Look at you, man! You it's like freaking right there. Yep. Right. So now we're telling Facebook, hey man, this is the conversion. This is where we need people to get to. Is this free PDF downloads page? It's this page right here. So now if I come over here. This is showing no activity yet. If I refresh this, it should then be active because now Facebook picked it up after I refreshed the page. After I refreshed this page, Facebook then picked it up. So now Facebook should be showing it active over here. Bam. Wow. Okay. So now that's active. The, con the custom conversion is active. So now this is where the magic happens. Now okay. we come in here and we come back to ads manager and we set that bad boy up. So it now, now it's just going to come down to, it's going to come down to what is our, which one's our ad, which um, let's go to videos. 
So now let's, let's, we're going to run the second ad. And, and now we're shooting for conversions. Now we're like, okay, no more video views. That's fine. Now we're going to, we want, we, we need people to fill out the damn form. So which video are we using for that? That's the question. So, so we could use either the first one or the second one. The first one the, the, is the girl talking, the blonde. Welcome the to Archer one, Management Group, this one? Yeah, uh-huh. And the, the second one there is just another video like the other video. Hi, I'm Leah with Archer Management Group. Here at Archer Management, we go above and beyond because of our care for... Okay, here's what I need to do. I want that hot blonde to be, fun, to be, to be, to be the thumbnail. So I'm going to click on this thumbnail. There we are. So I want, I, I need her to show first, not your logo. So let's go with, don't you think? I mean, isn't that freaking way more? Yeah, yeah. Like attractive, yeah. like shit. Like I'll click on the damn blonde before I click on your damn logo. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. So you, you can cut that to where you want to start it at? Not where I want to start it at. I can choose the first thumbnail. Like watch, for example. If oh, I, hit I see what you're saying. Tenant and the community. Like for example, watch. So now okay. let me see if, I, if it picked it up, if it saved it yet. Let me refresh this. Rather than showing Archer Management, that logo yeah. with the gray background, rather than showing that as a thumbnail, I want to show that blonde. Bam. That right there is more, that's, that's clickbait. That right okay. there is more attractive. Yeah, I That's making me click on it. Okay, 100%. Perfect. And, and even, even this other one, let me, why is that black showing? Let me fix this one real quick. If you own rental properties, you must watch this video. I mean, it's, that's a good one too. Yeah, go here, hit thumbnail, and let's, let's pick a, even this one's cool, you know. If I went with that one. So a thumbnail is what you see first, and I take it. That's what that means. Well, it's what you see right now with, with just a still image. Just, yeah, it's just okay. When, before you press play. Okay, I got what you're saying. And now I know what that means. Okay. So, and even, and, and, and really to tell you the truth, thumbnail really is popular when it comes to um, YouTube. Because when you look at any YouTube video, it's that image. That's the yeah. thumbnail. Okay. So these yeah. images of me right here, that's the thumbnail. Okay. So I, I customized that part, right? So now over here, let's click on, there it is there. So that looks a hell of a lot better than a black screen. You know what I mean? No, totally. 100%. Yeah, I totally agree. So now what we're going to do is, okay, so if this is, if this is the one, let's, let's, let's run that one. Well, you and me are talking about it. Which one? I mean, I don't have any experience in, in advertising. Which Let one? me play this one real quick. Archer Management Group. Here at Archer Management, we go above and beyond because of our care for the client, the tenant, and the community. Finding a property manager who you can trust is one thing, but finding a property manager who not only does a great job, but who also has a passion for the people they serve is another thing entirely. Passion, care, and our commitment to professionalism in the office and on the ground is exactly what you'll get when you choose us. We will take over the responsibility of day-to-day -day management by giving you a customer service experience that simply will not compete by anyone else. When you give us a call, you will be connected directly to our owner so you can expect immediate attention to your inquiry. We look forward to hearing from you. Let's run it, man. Let's run it. Okay, perfect. Let's run it. Let's run it for sure. Let's... um. But first, what we got to do is real quick is just, and you do this part first. So again, any ad, any ad, whether it's a video or an image, it comes on the page first, right? It comes here yeah. first. And then, you, and then you write the title and then you write the description right here first. Um, because once, once we go over here to the ads manager and we come set it up over here, we can no longer change the text. Okay. So you always want to make sure that everything that that ad needs to say, it's right here. So that's why, like, I don't really know your, I mean, I know your business, man, but at the same time, the copy, like, that's the part that I don't really, really fully know is what can we put there? We're, 
let, let's go. We are Southern California's premier property management company. It has to say something about download our free guide, download our free, um, how to keep your property rented and turn your home into a cash flow asset. This, this part over here, you know what, to tell you the truth, this right here needs to be in the ad. Okay. So, so for Makes, example, I totally download. agree. Free download. Let's go to, so welcome to Archer Management. Let's go, um, let's go free, how to keep your property rented. Let's make this, let's, let's see how this looks real quick. Let's take that. Let's put it there. Um, free download. Free download, how to keep your property rented and turn your home into a cash flow asset. So that, that, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm just freestyling it. So let, let me know what you think. But I think that right there, I don't know if it's too long, but I think that's, that's good. I think that's really, really good to put, to put somewhere there. Um, even if you, if, even, even if this is your first investment property and you have no idea, oh, let's download the free report. So Yeah, like you said, it's just testing, A-B testing and seeing what, what works and what doesn't. But I like this better than, than just what it said before because now they know what it is. Yeah, free download. How to keep your property rented and turn your home into a cash flow asset. Perfect. We are Southern California's premier property management company. Even if this is, even if this is your first investment property and you have no idea how, how all of this works. Even, okay, so even if this is your first investment property and you have no idea how all of this works, our free download, our free download will teach you, our free download will teach you step, will teach you, will teach you step by step how to start creating a positive cash flow today. Click learn more. Click learn more to download now. To click to learn more to download now. Okay. So, yep. so that is going to be that, that, I mean, that's, that, 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 that yep. sure is, says a lot more than what it used to, right? Absolutely. That says what it is right there. That says what it is. Yeah. It's what it is. You just said exactly what it is. There's no so more. If I hit no save and I refresh I this page. I mean, that was just like, so there it is there. Perfect. So free download, how to keep your property. So there goes the actual. And then if I click on, if I click on the actual video, there goes the title, there goes the description. So when, once we set up the ad, it'll say, learn more right here where it says number three, it'll say, learn more. Actually not when you're viewing it this way, but once it's, once it's, on the actual timeline on okay. your actual on the post that's where the learn more button will be um but shit man that that right there was it was a whole lot better than what it what it said before how to keep so now we have a good title now we have some good text even if this is your first investment property and you have no idea how all of this works our free download will teach you step by step how to start creating a positive cash flow today click learn more to download your free copy now click learn more Click learn more to download. Click learn more. Click learn. Click learn more to download your free. Click learn more to download your free. So just a document or PDF. Your free. Um, free guide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, click so learn more to download your free guide now. Yeah. Okay. So we are. And then what I can also do is I can download here and this is just an added, an added one, but let me know what, what you think. This, this is what is super powerful as well. Um, even though, even though you may not be into emojis and how, it, you know what I mean? Like this shit is, is no, man. But, 
I don't know. Yeah, grab it. it, it you... Yeah, it grabs. It grabs. It, it. It makes it, and it's proven. It's proven that it gets people to psychologically stop when they see some type of design or some type of emoji. So what I would do is I would simply maybe. And this is, um, yeah, let's just, let, I can just easily set it up on my end, which it's no big deal. But um, what I would also do is I would simply come to the bit.ly shortener and I would grab this opt-in. This is the actual link that they're going to click on. They're going to click on learn more and it's going to take them here. But what I also want to do is I want to set up a short link to put inside of the text. So what I do is I take the URL, I post it there, and then now I can simply come over here to Bitly and I can name this. I can put um, free, let's see if this, I don't think this name's available, but let's just check. Free down, we'll have to customize it somehow. Free down, down free download, that name, yeah. that's for sure probably not available, but let's free download. Yeah, so um, free download, um, let's what, what can we name it we can name it um uh guide free download guide mm -hmm. download your free download your free guide that might be taken to download your free guide yeah it's taken yeah. Um, download your free management guide your free Download your free management. No, download your free cash flow guide. Download your free cash flow guide. That's kind of long, but at the same time, let me just show you what I mean. So in the actual text, not only are they going to be able to click learn more right below the post, but they're going to also be able to click that link and be straight, taking it straight there as well. So for example, hit save. Now... Let's refresh this. So if I refresh this page. Oh, so a little cheek, a little teeny trick you just showed me. Yeah, yeah. man. So, yeah. so now, cause I want, I want them to have multiple sections, multiple ways. And really it's just two rather than, rather than them having to for sure click learn more. Rather than them for sure having to click learn more. I'm also going to give them the ability to click on that damn link in the text as well. So why not have a second place to click, right? So, right, I, so right. Look, right when they click on that, it takes them straight to your page. So I'm giving them the learn more button and I'm giving them a link in the text. Beautiful. So download your free cash flow guide. Perfect. So, okay. Yeah, that, is, that is perfect, really. So now all that is set up. Now let's come in here. And let's run the ad. So we click on create. And so you are in housing. So you got to check that box. Housing pertains to real estate listings, homeowners insurance, mortgage loans, or related opportunities. So you would be in the housing category for sure. Correct. And then, so now, again, the first time you ran video views, now we're looking for leads. We're looking for conversions. Now, what a lot of people do also, and again, this is going to be a couple, a, a little bit of testing because what a lot of people do and what, what Facebook even told me before, but then, but then I, it's so weird because I've spoken to Facebook directly and they've given me strategies. And then I've spoken to just mentors that I have and, and even trainings that I'm in that, of, of, you know, really, really, you know, top producers that are producing. And I learned from them and they're teaching me a, a different strategy as well. And that strategy is Facebook told me that, okay, run traffic, get traffic to this page. Number one, that's number one. You want to run yeah. traffic ads. So Facebook, so the pixel, so Facebook can start recognizing what type of person is landing here. That's what this pixel is all about. All it's allowing Facebook to do is really identify who your ideal audience is. And, and so Facebook, the reason why they recommend starting with traffic is to let it so you can let them know that if we run the ad and we're running at traffic and we're getting people to click and people are landing here, Facebook is now starting to know and learn who that type of person is. Right. 
And then some people, which are my mentors and, and people that I follow, people that are crushing it, they say, don't even do traffic, just go straight into conversions. Okay. But, but to do conversions, make sure you set up the custom audience, make sure that you set up the custom conversion, which is what we did. And so both of those, those are both for lead capture. Those are both for lead capture. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to start off with conversions and let's run that for a few days and, and see if anyone opts in. Um, and then, and then if anything, we can, we can switch over and run a traffic one or maybe even run both at the same time. But, but I would say, let's just do conversions and run that for the next week. And, 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 and again, we're telling Facebook, Hey man, the whole objective is to get people to not just this page, but to get them here. And, and we have everything set up. So the pixels there, the custom conversion is set up. Everything is there. Everything is there. All that's going to come down to now is questioning. Was that text good enough? Question, questioning, was this landing page good enough? That's what the ultimate question after seven days from today is going to be. Okay. We, we set up everything. Everything's set up right. Everything yeah. is set up right. Um, I agree 100%. And, and so, and so that's that. So let so let's run it out. Let's run it out with conversions, and um, let's this, hit continue. The uh, area, you know, let's, we don't have to do LA and everywhere, right? Can we just? No, we can. We can. Um, well, first of all, we're going to retarget everyone who watched. In fact, you know what? That's what we have to set up first. That's what we have to set up first. So okay. now we're going to go back to cust We're going to go back to audiences. Okay. And we're going to set up a custom audience. That's what you have to do first. We're going to set up a custom audience of everyone who watched that first video. Cause that's that, because that audience is who we're going to retarget with this video. Okay. Make sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. So over here, we're in the custom audience and we're going to come We're going to hit the, we're going to hit the blue button. We're going to create custom audience. And this is going to be around a video. So we're going to choose the video. Actually, well, we can, we can choose which, you know, what, what percentage we want to retarget. Now that video, according to the stats, it showed us that what a, like a couple thousand people were through play, which is this one right here. So it said, in fact, we could just go back to it. It did say through play a couple thousand. Yeah. Right. So that's that right there. We might, we might start off with that and just, and just retarget everyone who watched the first 15 seconds or you can get even further with it and say, okay, no, man, that's not good enough. I need people. I want to retarget everyone who watched 50% of it, or I want to retarget. So there's 2380. We could be like, okay, 2380 watched 15 seconds of it, but we could be like, you know what the hell with that? We need people who watched. So if we go back to the audience, we can tell Facebook, Hey man, give us the people that watched 95% of it. Right. That would be a completely hotter hotter type of person but at the same time the audience of that wouldn't be as many right because now we're narrowing it down we're going from um so custom audience we hit video we're going from 2300 people who watched 15 seconds of it to maybe 500 people who watched 95 percent of it does that make sense yeah totally. so as you go up in percentage that audience will obviously be smaller so if 2,300 people watch 15 seconds of it, it's only safe to assume that less than that watch 25, less than that watch 50, less than that watch 75, less than that watch 95. So I totally agree. This just comes down to you know preference, really. I mean, who well, should... I mean, why don't we just do that one right there through through play? Okay. Yeah, let's get 20, back in front of those. 2,300 is not very many people. Jeez. They... Let, let, let's get back in front of those people. And again, we're gonna still open up our our targeting. We're gonna still target you know, other, 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 um, but at the same time, we're going to retarget this group as well. Absolutely. So we're going to choose the video. Okay. We're going to come to the page. Yeah. What? Yeah. There and it's go. going to be this video right here. No, it's a, this, the top one. No, no, this is the video we're retargeting. Oh, retargeting. Yeah. yeah so oh, we're creating 35. a custom audience around everyone who watched this one. Oh, everyone who watched 15 seconds of this one. Okay, I see. Okay, so I yeah. hit confirm, and then this audience name is going to be um, people who watched who watched fifteen seconds, and we'll go through play. People who watched fifteen seconds through play of first. Well 
video. First video, yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, not, so we create time. the audience. And so it could take up to 30 minutes for your audience to be used. We'll, we'll notify you when your audience is ready. You can also check the status in Ads Manager. Now, um, so now we'll hit done. And then let me, yeah, so it's ready. It's already ready. So they say 30 minutes just, you know, just to freaking under promise and over deliver, but it's, it's ready now. Let me refresh it. So now when we go and set up this, so now let's set up the ad. So now when we go set up the ad, we are going to retarget that group. Okay. And we're going to retarget them for conversions. They saw the first video. Now we're asking them to shit or get off the pot. Now we're running conversions. We're telling Facebook, Hey man, we don't need them to view it anymore. We need them to free now. Now, although it is a new video, they are going to view it for sure, but that's not what we're paying for. We're telling Facebook, Hey man, we want to pay for leads. Like we're paying for conversions. The first time around you paid 70 bucks for the views to get an audience right? Yeah, yes. Now we have the audience and, and, and you want, you want to keep building audiences, but at the same time, if we're just going in chronological order, week one, week two, week three, week four, this is, this is for sure a way we can do it. So there's that audience right there. Okay. So it, it's showing below a thousand, but it's populating. So by the time it's over all said and done, that would be a couple thousand. Cause that's what it was, was like 2380. So it's still populating. It'll keep, it'll keep increasing for sure. But at the, in the meantime, we can still run the ad. So now let's go to ads manager. Now we can run the conversions ad. So we come back over here, we click the green button. And then we check the box housing and now we're going with Conversions. 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 Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to, we we can name it. We're going to name this one. Um, we're going to name it conversions and we're going to, we're going to name it retargeting, retargeting first video. Okay. So retargeting first video. That way, when you look at it at the dashboard, you can, you can easily, you know, see what, which ad that is. So hit continue. And then we come over here and in the ad set, this is where we now set up the, the conversion, which I'll show you how to do. And then this is where we set up the budget, the placement, the targeting, all that. That's all done in this, in the second step. So there's only three steps, three steps to the ad, the campaign, which, which we chose conversions, the ad set where we're going to choose the budget and all that shit, the schedule and what time it's going to go out and where it's going to go out. And then the ad is simply the ad. And, and we're going to grab it from the business page because that's where we posted it. Yep. So Correct. that's all there is to it, man. And then and, and from this point on, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just testing. It's, it's, it's testing different ads. But what I opened up the call with earlier is that I literally, literally got off of a call where they test 50 at a time and that's type of the shit, you know, that's, that's some Superman type of shit. So one ad, it may not be the one like, that's why, like, that's why you want to keep testing. So yeah, conversions, I know. I totally agree. this right here, if it wasn't already by default in there, it would have been X, it would have been blank and it would have been red. So if I X that out, it's red. So sometimes when you come to this part, right, remember we're, we, we just finished the campaign. Now we're on the ad set. Sometimes when you come to this part, it shows like this, it's red. And all okay. you do is just click on it and find that conversion. This is the conversion. So all these other ones down here, those are all different ones that are not active, but what we activated was this one. Okay. So that's what we click on. That goes right there. We can X that out. So that's how it should look. That's a conversion ad. Um, and so now we're going to scroll down, scroll, and, and you can even tell Facebook, hey, man, I'm not willing to spend no more than 10 bucks per lead, or I'm not willing to spend no more than two bucks a lead. You can set that here, but, I but you don't want to do that yet because we don't, we don't know what the cost is. Like, we haven't ran this, so we don't know if it's going to be 15 bucks or a dollar per lead. We don't know yet. You're right. So, so we leave that part blank. And okay. then the daily budget, you can, easily start at, you can easily start at five bucks a day. I mean, you... you we can start super small and, and then just scale up. I don't want, no, I don't. Let's just do what we did before. What did we do before? Was it was it ten a day for seven days? Yeah, or we yeah. could do or we could do you know fifteen for five days. 
I mean, whatever you think. I mean, Let, let's go, let's go, which is $10 a day. Let's do seven days, which is $70 for lifetime budget. Okay. And so this ad today is the second and it's about to be noon. What I would do, what I would recommend because Facebook, once we, um, once we actually set the ad, then Facebook, then it goes into review and Facebook still has to, Facebook still has to actually, um, approve it. Right. Right. So sometimes that can be like, that could be like a few minutes. It could be a few hours. It could be, it could be a day. So I don't want to set this right now. It's 1147. I wouldn't, and this is just me teaching you, you know, back end. Yeah. I wouldn't set this for noon. Like you would think right now, okay, yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to be done with this shit in three minutes. Let's let that bad boy go, go live at noon. Right. Thinking that we have time. Right. But Facebook might not approve it until 7 p.m. Correct. Right? Like yeah, that could exactly. happen. Yeah. So or tomorrow. So what I normally do is I normally start the next day. Is what Which I'm trying to say. Makes sense. So makes I'll go. Sense. I'll go. I'll go the third, and I'll start this at 6 a.m. Okay. So I'm giving Facebook plenty of time to to approve that, um, and then I'll run it from the third to the tenth to the tenth. And I'll change this to the same exact date, the same exact time. So it's going to start and end at the same exact time. That's the lifetime budget. And the reason why I go lifetime and not daily, because it's the same dollar amount. It's the same dollar amount, but every day is different. Every day, the Facebook system, the machine, it, it operates a little different. For, for example, some days you'll have 500 views and some days you'll have 900 views. And, and, and so if you have a daily budget, you're telling Facebook, hey, man, the daily budget is 10 bucks. Even if you guys are on a roll and, and there could have been 1,300 people that saw it this, today, I'm still telling you to cap out at 10 bucks. Yeah. When Facebook could have showed it to way more because every day is a little different. So rather than going daily and having a cap for the day, I just use the same dollar amount and go lifetime because what if Facebook wants to spend 15 bucks today because so much momentum was happening? And, and so many more could have saw it and we could have went up to 15 bucks, but we had it at 10, right? So Facebook, if it's lifetime, they'll use as much as necessary within that day and, 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 and still stretch it out for the seven day period. Okay. Perfect. Does that make sense? I, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. So, 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 so it's, it's, just, daily. it's letting the machine breathe and not, and not suffocating them with a cap for the day. Yeah, no, I like that. Right? Yeah, so absolutely. I want the system to breathe. I want them to have plenty of time. Here's seven days. Do what you freaking do. Show it to a million people today. Show it to two people tomorrow. I don't care. Just that's what it is for the week. Do what you got to do. That's yeah. kind of how I look at it. And, and that's how I was taught as well. So okay. third to the 10th and then run ads at all time. It's, it's all good. And then dynamic creative don't need that. Offer don't need that. And then here goes our custom audience. So for example, we can exclude custom audiences as well. So back to what I was saying about Calendly, the reason why it was so important for that confirmation page is, is so we can put the pixel on that page and exclude them from ever seeing another ad. Because those are people yep. who, ever, who are already scheduled. I don't need them to see another ad. They already scheduled. You're right. right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's where I would put exclude. So for example, right here, exclude. Do we even have... Yeah, we don't have that audience set up yet because I don't have your calendar page, your Calendly page. But once once I have your Calendly page, I can e easily set up the custom audience right here. All I need is the link. I set well, it up right there, and already, then the, it's, it's already set up. Okay, it's, so then right here, well, it's not set up in here. No, it's not set up in. But I did set it yeah. up after we talked last time. Yeah, with perfect. The calendly and paid fifteen bucks. Perfect. So the pixel, as long as the pixel is on that page, um, that's all that matters. And then and then the link. I need the link. So I can create the custom audience just like I created the custom audience for All right. this we'll page. Click through, we'll click through that then. Put your information in it if you wanted to. And oh, into the calendar. Into the calendar. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So if I click yeah. on this one right here. You go right to the calendar. You go straight to the calendar. Book a free consultation call. So I click on. See, and then now you got this little damn thing down here. Schedule time with me powered by Calendly. So this right here is showing, and then and then I can also so if I click on this blue one, it takes you to the calendar. There's a calendly. Okay, so let's do one on one. Let's schedule March six, ten a.m. Confirm. 
Okay, so there's that scheduled yeah, event. You get number. Person. Schedule event. All right, now you should have the, the thank you with the video coming up in a sec. Okay, so this right here, okay, this right here, this URL, this Facebook pixel, it's not right. So this right here is super important as well. Because as people land here, I want to tell Facebook that not only is this a custom audience of everyone who landed here, but it's also a custom conversion. So this, yeah. this right here needs to be an audience. So, well, I mean, I'm already in, let me see if I can, see if I can open, yeah, perfect. Let me create a custom audience of this real quick. Uh, the thank you page. The, the, yeah, the, ske the schedule, the confirmation, the thank you for scheduling page. Yeah, thank you for scheduling. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create audience, custom audience, and it's going to be um, website. And we're going to go 180 days. Anyone who, all, all website visitors or people who visit a specific page, which will be this page. So anyone who visits that page, these are people who scheduled. Or we yep. can go schedule yep. scheduled appointments. Perfect. Okay, so create audience. Okay, so the, again, the reason why that was yeah. so important, and then what I also have to do is create a custom conversion, but um, I'll, I'll do that, but scheduled appointments. So now, now over here, over here, let me refresh this page really quick. I don't know if this is the right pixel. This 240, I don't think that's the right pixel. Um, for example, this one over here is 189. This is your pixel right here. So why would it be Because they had whoever set this up put a different pixel in there. They must have just did it by accident. I mean, this is not the right yeah, the one that does doesn't even have access to my Facebook. Well, wherever this pixel, whoever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the, where it came from. Yeah, maybe maybe the dude who who created the Kartra page just put it there for the hell of it. Yeah, that could okay. be some other random pixel, but it's not it's not yours. Yeah, exactly. Um, but we need we definitely need to put yours on here now. It doesn't have okay. to, we don't have to do it this second, but just make a note of that. Make a note that your pixel needs to be on the on the confirmation page. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'm building everything, what I built the audience around though is around this URL. So that's fine for right now. But at the same time, we need to put that pixel on this page. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so so now scheduled appointments. So now if I come back over here, let me refresh this, which I might it might throw off everything, but it's okay. We can easily redo it real quick. Okay, so now, yeah, we'll have to, it, actually, I can, I can continue from here. Okay, so now, when I come in here, and now I'm, I'm in the second step, ad set, now I can come over here and I can exclude. Now, that, that page, this page right here hasn't had that much activity at all, but all this is just in good habit and in good practice. As, as this page does start to get traffic, then that's when all this is going to make sense because I need to be able to exclude them. So if I come over here and I come down the budget that all that's the same. And then the targeting, I want to exclude, I want to exclude scheduled appointments. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Okay. So, totally makes sense. So scheduled appointments. Perfect. Okay. And then, and then I want to include I want to include people who watched 15 second through play. Okay. That's who I'm retargeting. Yep. So if that number was bigger, let's say, let's say we got 3000 people to watch it. If that number was 10,000 or if that number was a hundred thousand views, then I can retarget just that audience alone I'll and not even have it, have to put anything in, in the, in the, in the um, locations, not have to put anything in the in the detailed targeting if I wanted. If that audience was big enough, but the audience isn't that big right now, um, 
We'll keep, we'll keep building it. But, but we keep fine. building it. That's the thing. That's why yeah. like these ads are so important because yeah. as you run ads, you're collecting data of your audience. No, that's I totally agree, agree with what, you. I, you know? Yeah. So exclude those who already opted in. And then, and then another one would be exclude, exclude free PDF download leads. That's another audience I want to exclude. Right, because not only am I excluding the people who scheduled an appointment, but I'm also excluding the people who already opted in. They don't need to see my next ad. Nope, nope. Makes sense. Totally agree. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. so let's 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 keep going. So then let's so because again, this audience, this engagement, this 15 second, because that audience is not the biggest, we still want to put some some targeting in. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Which should we go with? People traveling in this location, people no. living in this location. Uh, they can be. They don't have to be living in it. Can you do two or just one? People. We could just do one. People living in or recently in this location. People recently in this location. Because yeah, if, if a ton of your type of people are, are traveling or whatever, then then it could be. It could be a couple of them because, like I said, I know my clients I have now. None of them live in the, in the freaking, I got 10 of them, and none of them live in, in Riverside County. They all live in San Diego or Orange County or, or Riverside County, but not in the city. So I don't have anything out of state. So everything is within the Southern California area. Okay. So then. So, for right now. So then what should, what should we go with people living in this location? Yeah, why not? It, it, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. people living. Then, then we name the locations, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Living in these locations, perfect. Okay, give them to me. So you got Temecula. Then you have Marietta. We'll just we'll, we'll do Marietta. Uh, Lake Elsinore. See how they overlap. They overlap. So, so in that, that case, yeah, we don't do? need, we could just go just to Mecla and I can go 50 miles. That'd be perfect. That would work. That would work. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That would work out just fine. Yep. That, that, that's it right there. That covers Is that it? it? Yeah. We could probably hit um, maybe towards the Palm Springs area because it's not hit yet, but yeah, that, that's good. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Because yeah. we can also, um, I mean, yeah, if you want to put Palm Springs. Yeah, because there's a lot in Palm Springs. There's a lot of those people who don't fucking live in their houses. They live yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So Palm Springs, yes. And then do another. Let's see know, if, it, if it overlaps it. Um, you want to make our, see, we can only do 50 miles, right? 50. Yeah, so we already went to that limit. Okay. No, well, on Palm Springs, it just, it just overlaps. Yeah. Um. What if you did? Uh, but we can just. Um, what if you did like Moreno Valley? Because half of it's in the fucking ocean. But I can also I can also drop a pin. So if I dropped a pin, right here. Yeah. Okay. Drop that pin, and then maybe move this to twenty miles. Yep, that'd be perfect. I think that will work out. There yeah. it is there. Perfect. Yep, yep, so now yep. we're not overlapping. Yep, that's perfect. Those, okay. those, are the, those are the areas that I want to hit right now. Okay, perfect. So let's focus on that. And then doesn't matter. Ang and, and that's the thing. when you Because on the first, over here at the special ad category, we check the box. Because this housing. has to do with housing. Yep. We check the box. So now when we're over here in the audience, when you're, when you're running ads for housing, you cannot, you can no longer change the age. You can no longer change the gender. That's fine. You know, so, it's funny because we look at a lot of women actually clicked on it, which is more women. Yeah. Than men. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that, that type of data gives you the ability to restructure or re-strategize or rethink your future ads. So if we're noticing that 90% of the damn viewers are women, that gives us the ability to, to tweak our, our marketing and maybe start tailoring only women. You know, maybe, yeah, yeah. you know, women do make the choice a lot of times on these property management things. It's not always the men mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the women. And so in your, in your case with this, with this, I mean, you can easily, you can easily, the first time when we ran that video view, we 
left this open and we didn't put any, any, any targeting whatsoever. That was the first time. This time around now that we're running conversions, we could put some type of targeting in here. Um, like and, uh, investors, stuff like that. Is it, is it, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can. So I'd put investors and stuff like that, uh, real estate investors. So real estate investing, real estate entrepreneur, real estate investment trust. Investing. Real Top estate one. investing. We can yeah. go with that. And some, some people. Um, Flippers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, real estate. We can, we can either bunch a few. We can see. So here's a couple of ways people do it. Oh. Is they'll run, they'll run one ad with one keyword. Okay. And then they'll, and then they'll run another ad with a different keyword. That's, that's, that's one form of split testing. Actually, that is, that is the split testing. So split testing is when now we can find out, okay, is that the keyword that people resonated with or was it flippers? So right. When, flip, can we do an AB test right now? Well, that would just take another, yeah, a second, a second daily budget. So okay, 70 is already going in for the week with this one. When you do the, the B testing, 70 also ends up going into the other one. Okay. So I don't know if you want to put 140 right away or, or that's one way, or we, we put in a group of words here okay, and, and, and just go and, and just do that. Okay. Let's just put words in there real quick. I mean, so let's, bit. let's go with um, real estate investing, real estate. Okay. So flippers is not in there. Uh, what, what, what you can also do also is target. So we can, and here's another way to break it down, is we can go, we're targeting people who are interested in real estate investing, and they also follow Robert Kiyosaki. So you can do it that way too. Oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. And do, uh, there's another guy, um, fuck is his name? Dean DeGraciosi? No, there's another guy in Riverside that, uh, does uh, seminars and stuff like that. I can't think of his name right now, but that's all right. I'll get it next time. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I like that. Tom Mer or Merrill or that dude from the um, Flippin' Show? No, he, no. Uh, um, the guy I'm thinking about, no, he doesn't have a show. Um, you want to put some of these, Robert? Okay, so so here's the thing. So it's it's interest. Um, that's the thing about housing. So, so many things changed in the housing marketing. Um, um, doctors, doctors, right? Lawyers, they, they're the ones that have money, right? Our, they're the ones that have fucking money that they're buying these things with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I don't see that in here. Oh, that's A's. They just, like doctors, they always have, a lot of doctors have um, rentals. REOs, short sales. There's so much freaking shit in here. Um, let's management. What's under management? Actually, no, this is not. So if I typed in. See, so then, so then look, I can either go real estate investing and must also match this other one, or I could just bulk them all under one. So that's why there's just a couple ways to do it. Not one way is better than the other, but there's just a couple ways to do it. So, okay. um, real estate investing. I wonder why Robert Kiyosaki isn't, or, so I guess you can't target people. That'd be, yeah. That'd be awesome if we could, because well, with other, other other ads you can with housing is what they're taking out is they took out so many different targeting, but that's fine. About, can you put doctors? Hmm. No, nothing's popping up. Let's go with. Yeah. See there, there's so much that it was taken out, but that's fine. We could still hit it. So if we Rob go with apart apartments, um, where do you see that? I, I, I just, I just said that out loud apartments or rentals. 
apartment list, apartment.com, apartment guide, apartment. No, not apartment. Let's go with um, real estate investing. I mean, that's, that's the King Kong word right there. I mean, yeah, yeah. We can go with that word. Let's just go with that word. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exclude people who already follow your page because most likely the people that follow your page are from all over the place. They're not exactly investors. So we don't need any ad budget going there whatsoever. Okay. So we exclude them and then we come down here and we're going to uncheck. So sometimes by default, you'll be right here in automatic placement. So as you scroll down, you'll see it there. Required field is missing. The name is required. Please complete this form. So sometimes it'll be by default in automatic, but we're going to go manual placement because we don't need it on Instagram. We don't need it in Facebook messenger. Um, and in fact, we don't even need it in audience network. We want it to just be on Facebook. So that allows our budget to stretch further because if we have all these damn things checked, the, first of all, the video is not optimized. It's not set. The dimensions, the size is not for Instagram. So okay. I don't need it there. Messenger, I'm not, I'm not running ads to anyone's messenger, so I don't need it there. Audience network is, is a bunch of third-party websites that Facebook leverages to put ads on. We don't really need it there. I want all the attention on Facebook, especially if the dollar, if, just so we don't spread that dollar too thin. You know what I mean? Yeah. That budget. So I'll leave it on Facebook and I'll leave it on all of these. Um, instant articles. I'll take it. Actually, you know what? I'll, I might as well just leave it in. It doesn't matter. But because of video, I think I might have to uncheck instant articles. I'll check right now. Yeah. Removing Instagram and audience networks placement. Okay. Fewer. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So what error is this that they're giving me? Set up the time. Okay, so why? Yeah, see, so brought, yeah, so it's, we're not even here yet. Let's go back to the placement. Okay, so let's. Okay, so all that is set up. All that is set up. All that is set up. Continue. Okay, so now let's finalize it. So this is where we. This is where we end it. So I'll leave that default name conversions. That's fine. Archer management. Archer management. And then here's the final step, man. Here's step three. Here's the final step. Okay. We're going to click on use existing post. Okay. And then we're going to select post. Let me ask you something too. Well, should we hit real estate agents? I'm just... No. I mean, I okay. no, because okay. they're, they're, none of them are investors, man. No, but they, but they sell to investors. They sell to investors, but if I was an agent and I sell to investors, I mean, yeah, if you were hitting me and I saw an ad about a free download, maybe I'll, I'll think of my client. We don't have to worry about it now. It's just you know, but, I, I have a second list going out to email them because I know I can get three. I've had a lot of agents ask me before, hey, would you do this property management when they're ready to sell? Just give me back mm -hmm, the house. Mm -hmm. I, but I said no because I don't want to do property management years ago. But anyway. So yeah, we, we could we could target them, but but what what we can also do, man, is we can what what I'll open up for you for sure. We can set this up for another call, but okay, we can easily do a video like like we'll do a video and I can share that on my page where I have five thousand real estate agents. Well, let's do it then. Yeah, so whatever it takes. Yeah, we don't yeah. need to run an ad on that. We could do that for free. Okay. So so here's the post right here. So again, yeah. I clicked on use existing post. I clicked select post. And yeah. this is gonna uh, this is gonna give me a, a list of everything on the page. That's the video right there that I want to use. So I click continue. Yep. And that's gonna bring everything over to this step. So I there do. it is, right there. There's the ad. We are a Southern California property management company. Um, Does it let you open it up and see what it, what how it actually looks on the page? Yeah. Let me, um, so let me add the, so then, so here oh, is, there it add is the button, okay, there you which go. is this one right here. So we're going to hit copy and we're going to come back over here. We're going to paste in, that's the learn more link. 
So we update post. Yeah, baby. This is looking, this is getting to be sexy here. Yeah, dude. This is this is actually this is, I'm pretty I'm is, pretty excited uh, myself. Yeah, this is pretty much I mean you're doing it all, but I like I had to do a lot of stuff just to get us to this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, you did it all, bro. You did well, it all. Well you're downloading, you told me, you know, to put all the downloads together also I got them all separate too, so which is good. So once once I confirm it, then we'll see what it looks like on the page. Okay. So that's that's that that's that. I love um, that, man. I love that damn. I mean, and look, it's this pixel. This is your pixel ID. So it's okay. not. It's the one eight nine. It's not this one over here that yeah. that he put on this page. It's not the two four zero. So that's yeah. what needs to be. That that's what needs to be updated. But again, let this th that don't matter right now. Right now. That's not important right now, right now, but that needs to be done for sure soon. So all we're going to do is we're going to hit confirm. Okay. And it's set up, bro. Now it's just going to go into review for, it could be a few minutes, could be a few hours, but we have it. It should for sure. It should for sure be active and approved. There's no reason why this ad should not approve um, at all, but you'll get a notification for sure. You'll get, either get an email or you'll get a notification up here in the top right. Um, once it's, okay. once it's set to go live. Okay. So here's what it looks like in the news feed. So now this part, the first step scheduled, that was already approved. You click on the second tab, this right here, this was the second tab, this was the second step, this is where we set the budget, the calendar, the placement, the targeting, the retargeting, the custom audience, all that shit is in the second tab, that's right here, that right. was already approved. Now the third tab is where we put the ad, that's where we used existing post. That's what is being in review right now. Okay. So yeah. Facebook is just reviewing the video right now. So if I click on, okay, so now look, I'm in this one right here. The box is checked. I'm analyzing this one right here. If I go to the third tab, this is where I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on edit. Now, again, once it goes active, don't mess with it no more. Nothing. Don't oh. change shit. Nope. But once, yeah. but, but now we're in the third tab. So this is the third tab. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this right here. I can click on this. My little girl, man, she wants to close deals, man. I don't know if I you hear can. it. I hear it. But but I, I click on I click on this little box right here, and okay. I come down to view on Facebook. There's different ways that I can view it, but I want to since I'm on my computer, I'm going to Facebook desktop newsfeed. I'm going to view it right here, and this is going to bring up a live shot of what it's going to look like when it's active. So as people are scrolling through the news feed, scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what everybody's up to. These are all your friends. These are all people in your culture group. Scrolling through, scrolling through, and all of a sudden, they come across a sponsored ad. That's what the bad boy looks like right there. So they can click see more, and it opens it up. That's the freaking ad, bro. So Beautiful. Yeah, that, right when they that. click on learn more, it's going to bring them straight to the download page. And we're running conversions. We're telling Facebook, hey, man, don't just bring them here. That's not what we're paying you for. We're not looking for traffic. That's the traffic ad. So when you come over here, again, again, some people will say run the traffic first. So you can give Facebook enough data to see what this page is all about. But we're going straight into conversions. We ain't got no time to waste. We're going to test this this way real quick and, and see if we can just go straight into conversions and, 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 and get people to this page to to um what page was it it was um that page well this is the land that this actually, the it's this actually well we close that page out but the the, the after they opt in okay right? yeah, after yeah. they opt in they click on yes i want positive cash flow that next page that's that what was, we're running for yep that video so so that's what we're going to start building up a cost that 70 dollars is good is going towards that how much is it going to cost us to get people to I might as well just opt in real quick. How much is it going to cost? Once we look at these numbers, we're going to we're going to be able to know or be able to tell how much did it cost us to get people here. Perfect. That's our cost per lead. Now, okay. now how much is it, how much does it cost to get people here? That's a different that's a different budget. That's a different that's a different cost. Okay. Now, now, so so right now we we want to we want to at least capture the lead. Of course we want to optimize for this too. So that's why the next ad will be ran around this too. It could be ran around this conversion, the conversion of people. But we need to add we need to update this this pixel. So so I can do that for you. I don't I, I can easily do that for you. 
but that that I want to I want to get people to download that shit first. Let let let's see if we can get some people to download that damn thing first. Yeah, because we had two people last time download it. Um, our first ad, and, and that wasn't even for that. That wasn't even the objective. No, now, no, no. Now that's the objective. So now we're telling Facebook, hey man, that's the objective. Like like I'm I'm looking for two a day type of type of stuff. Like that's oh what yeah, you, that's what you're telling Facebook. You know, you're uh, you're running conversions. I'm willing to pay you, Facebook, to get people to this page yeah. that's what we're now paying for okay yeah, that's what i like brother is, so is, when we find one that works so let that bad call. boy run man let that okay. bad boy run let's right. chat in the next few days and, okay. and and i i wouldn't even micromanage it i wouldn't just wait for the email from facebook to say that it's approved or say that it's active okay or that it's scheduled you'll get an okay. email of that sort or a notification once you get that, let let the damn thing breathe for the next few days. Like, let's chat. Today's Monday. Let's chat. Let's chat Thursday. Okay. Let's chat look, Thursday or Friday and and revisit okay. and look at the numbers. Then don't even care about the numbers right now. As okay. long as the damn thing approves, we're good. If it, okay. if it disapproves, then let's we gotta come back to the drawing board and find out what the hell happened. But as far as I'm seeing right here, everything is set up. There, that ad should go live at six a.m. Dude, you did a beautiful job, man. Beautiful freaking job. Hey, bro. So, hey, I was gonna tell need. you. I'm gonna do my own videos. So just let you Dude, know, bro. I'm telling you, man, even if it's the cartoon character, even if it's a cartoon character, that's an awesome strategy. No, because too, I'm like you, I could sell it or they want to know who I am and I'm older. I look like I know what I'm doing, so that's fine. It's okay. It's all right, man. Bro. It, I'm telling you, man, you look at, I can send you so many videos of people that I, that I run ads on and they're just random videos, man, on your cell phone, shit, yep. shit in the car, telling yep. a story while you're on your way to work. Yeah, like I I'm totally telling you, it's those raw, authentic videos on your cell phone. That is yep. the ad. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So, uh huh. Absolutely. Keep it simple, man. Have fun with it, man. Keep it simple, and, and just don't stress out. We'll make this happen. Okay, brother. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, man. Uh, chat right. soon. Schedule another call. Let's chat at the end of the week. You got it. I will. Okay, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Bye, bye.